Hey guys, welcome back to the Confused Gamer. I have created a Jedi Consular and I have just about ready to start leveling. Right, I have been tasked by my new master to retrieve some holocrons from some flesh raiders. And I believe I have to go and retrieve a speed rider, I believe it's called, I'm not quite sure. Greetings, you are cleared for the following travel. But either way, I have to cut, go and retrieve those holocons and bring them back. Now this on the right hand side of the screen is the tips panel. And basically it shows you what to do and how to do it really and it's pretty useful it looks like to show you the best way to do things and just lets you get to grips with lets you get to grips with the game just to introduce you to it nice and easily and yeah the graphics are pretty good I've got a bit of lag but that's mostly because of high server my server use, which is to be expected as this is the first proper day of beta, I believe, although it might have opened yesterday for some people. And yeah, the graphics are pretty decent, and the UI is pretty good as well, doesn't seem to be too complicated, and it seems to be pretty clear to me. I shall be getting to combat soon. But I just need to retrieve these. So yeah, the the interface is good. All the quests have a pretty pretty good so, voice acting after like the this long here. Silence, finally someone comes. I am Garen Jard. Millennia ago, I stood as a founder of the Jedi Order. Now this down in the bottom is a good feature in the Star Wars The Old Republic. What you can do is it shows you the latest conversation you have with the quest giver or quest receiver and you then have three options as what to reply with which alters I don't think significantly but maybe my min maybe minor changes in the storyline and what how how you react to the re environment I think and it's a good a good way of getting you involved even more in the quest and making sure you have full control over what your future will be in the game, which is a really good feature. And we'll see how it progresses. For a hologram, you're surprisingly articulate. We needed worthy vessels for our knowledge. When the Jedi Order began, I saw we must be dedicated to peace, to calming our emotions and ending war across the galaxy. If we fought, it should only be in self-defense. That is the founding principle of civilization. Now see here we've got another another option again and we can just read that again to remind ourselves ways of what we're replying to. So I'll just do that now. Being civilized also means defending those weaker than yourself. Indeed. But we must do so knowing the mark it will leave upon history and on ourselves. The Jedi may have changed, but galactic peace has always remained one of our goals. Activation protocol complete. Go well. Now you've just seen the first voice acting quest there, which is pretty good. I I think you'll agree, and it's all pretty well done and pretty fluid. And yeah, it's. I think it it is good that they've added in voice acting for for the quests because it just adds another another level to the game. Now that was the combat. You probably didn't see much of it because it was quite brief. But here down down here we have our attacking abilities. So we've got. Just a weapon damage there, 
Here we got, I think it looks like a force ability there. And yeah, just an, another melee attack there. We seem to have a buff over here. And I'm not entirely sure what that does. So, okay, it looks like you can travel back to somewhere, to a village or or somewhere of the, the Jedi control, I think. But I'll use that later on and we'll see what it does. And this restores health and force, which is pretty useful, I would have thought. We'll see as we go on how different abilities are used and what what happens when we use them. Now then, as you may have seen when I bring up the map like here when we're being attacked. When you bring up the map it goes translucent so you can see you can see behind it and you can see where you need to go and also other little things. I'll show you the the map and some of its features in a second. Okay. Right, so if we go into the map, so you, it shows you clearly your quest objectives and where to hand them in, and it's got what the equivalent of kind of flight masters really, so it you are talk to them and they'll transport you between a couple of places. Now over on the left, it seems to have little check boxes where if you select them it will show them on your map I believe yes so it looks like you can only have one used at the moment so I've got vendors there and it shows you who the vendors are where they are and what they sell which is pretty useful and it's got a couple of little just bits of information mission tracker up there shows you what quests you've got and what you need to do to complete them really and a map of the general area and when we move it goes trans translucent or transparent so you can see where you're going but also track your progress on the map and I need to be going around here to collect another hologram so let's go and do that I won't be showing a great deal in this video just a, just a glimpse of of what you can do as as a Jedi consular and just general bits of what the environment looks like and, and just what you can do and what the interface is like and just various different bits. I'll be bringing out some more videos later on showing PvP, dungeons, other interesting quests, boss fights, I don't know, whatever I find that I think you might enjoy. So we'll see. I'll probably go on a bit longer in this video, just show show you handing in a quest and probably levelling up and training, I reckon. And then I think I will end it there. But we've come to another hologram. Let's see what this one says. If it says anything at all. Yes it does. Let's have a listen. Activation protocol begins. Ah. Uh. Another has come to listen. When the Jedi Order was founded, I, Calabrin, said we should devote ourselves to justice. True justice cannot be driven by emotion. We Jedi can set our passions aside and seek the truth without fear or favor. So it looks like we've got another choice to make here. And I you think can't feel mercy. That. Justice suffers. Sorrow for the victim, or outrage at the crime, can blind us. To see clearly, such feelings must be put aside. It has served us well. We Jedi are renowned for our fairness, our honesty. Now, that reputation is yours to keep. Activation protocol complete. Okay, so, so that's that hologram collected there. I think I shall skip on in the video, so 
so as to save time and avoid boring you with just the, the collecting of the holograms and then we'll then we'll show you what happens nearer the end okay so I have now completed the whole quest I've collected the holograms but one was missing but I am returning to my master at the Jedi Temple and I thought you would appreciate just a look at the outside of the Jedi Temple which is that right there. Now we're we'll running inside to hand in this quest. Now, as I was collecting the holograms, I leveled up so to level two. Um, I will be showing you what happens when you level. Uh, later when I get to level 3 or some other level, I'm not sure what I'm going to show at the moment, um, but we'll see. Um, I may show, show it, it's not really that impressive, it's just a symbol appears and, and you get to train, but it's not really anything fantastic, but if, if I happen to level one I'm recording then you shall have a look. So I just need to just need to run down a couple of corridors and then I will be there to hand in the quest and we can see what happens. Let's just run through in here. Okay. So we'll run back. Now what I There isn't. It's out of my hands, Kaisen. I haven't. Padawan, come in. This is Kaizen Fess, an old friend. He's here on a hunting expedition. A sacred Trandoshan tradition. It's an honor to meet you. Some people, even some Jedi, disapprove of my friendship with Kaizen. I wanted you to meet, before rumors prejudiced you. First, thank you for saving the holograms. The Jedi have lost enough lately without losing our history, too. I was glad to help, Master. I've identified the holoprojector that was stolen. It contained a, a hologram of Master Rajivari. Rajivari was another of the Jedi founders. He turned to the dark side. He betrayed the very order he helped to create. What exactly did Rajavari do? Details of his life are maddeningly sparse. Rajavari was immensely powerful. That stolen hologram could hold his darkest secrets. The thief is likely from Kalikori village. Local Twi'lek pilgrims here illegally. Many of them are poor or hungry. You said Kalikori village isn't a legal settlement. I didn't think Tython had such laws. The Republic couldn't give the Twi'laks permission to colonize Tython. Too dangerous. But they came regardless. I'd like you to go to Kalikori village, discover who took the holoprojector and retrieve it. But tread lightly. The Twi'laks are here in defiance of Republic law. We're forbidden to fully defend them, even when the flesh raiders attack. Relations are strained. Once the villagers understand the situation, I'm sure we can reach an accord. When you reach Kalikori village, find Bashen, captain of the village guard. He knows everyone. He may have seen the hollow projector. I think meeting these pilgrims will be a good lesson for you, Padawan. Go carefully. Okay, so that was handing in a quest, and it shows you on the left that you completed it, how many, how much experience you got, and what reward you got for it. I will end the video here. This has been Morpheus showing you just a little bit of the Galactic the Galactic Republic Jedi Consular beginning storyline. I shall see you next time. Goodbye.